Equity Group has reported a 20% profit growth for the period ended 31st March 2016. Making profit before tax move from 6.1 billion to 7.3 and after tax from 4.3 uh, to 5.1 billion shillings. The growth in profit was attributed to a 22% in loan book and a 28% growth in government securities. Net loans grew from 225 billion shillings to 275 billion shillings, while government securities grew from 49 billion shillings to 62 billion shillings. This solid performance of the group has enhanced the shareholders' capital position. Between last year and this year, we've moved from 12 million transactions to 15 million transactions. But look at the volume of cash that the agencies are handling and saving the bank the burden of managing that cash. It's from 75 billion to 102 billion, a 37% uh, growth. Cash is being turned into digital transactions, and that is where Equitel comes. And we see the huge rise from 11 million uh, to 45 million transactions uh, within just uh, one year, and volume from 10 billion or 9.4 to 63 billion shillings. Equitel is breaking even, um, and that was always the intention. The reason we did Equitel was for two things, affordable banking service channel and security. And in order to do that, we needed the SIM card. To provide affordable banking services to the majority of Kenyans, you have to use bottom end channels. So as a result, we've gone from customers doing one mobile banking uh, transaction per month to 25. So affordability was crucial. The other thing was security. Um, and the only place where we can get security on all phones in Kenya, not just on Apples and Samsung Notes, which have security built into them, is on the SIM card. So this was never a telco competition. The group's strong brand has seen the number of customers grow to reach 10.3 million. In Kenya, we have hit 9 million customers, and at the group level, we are now at uh, 10.3 million customers, uh, ranking us uh, by far a very large bank. A strong governance structure that outlaws insider trading and borrowing by directors and a proactive intelligence risk culture of accountability have differentiated the bank, giving the public confidence. As an institution, we have a view on governance. We are building a solid and strong institution, which is based on best practices and, of course, the requirements of the law. So we are now looking at those very key factors, the duties of the directors in the New Companies Act, the duty not to accept third-party benefits, uh, the duty to declare interest evenly, and, of course, the need for fairness. Equity is about fairness and justice, and our directors have said that they are going to uphold those principles. In the past, they have upheld them, and going forward, they have committed to uphold them. Equity Bank emerged the best overall bank in Kenya in the 2016 Think Business Banking Awards, retaining that position for the fourth time. The bank was also named the best bank in agency banking, microfinance, retail banking and SME banking. For two consecutive years, we have been voted the best SME bank in the country. 72% of our loan book is to the SMEs. This is an area that we want to make core because quality of loan is good, provisions is very low, and uh, loans are secure. There is optimism that declining inflation, a stable foreign exchange, sustained good rainfall sparring agriculture and increased foreign direct investments will provide an opportunity for improved business opportunity. Tourism is back, agriculture and we are very rural oriented bank is back, SME that uh, space is now uncontested as an economy hits 6%. The biggest beneficiaries will be the SME subsector. We still have confidence in South Sudan. They have joined the East African community. 
the long awaited uh, peace agreement now it's being implemented so uh, the government has been formed positions have been taken and we as a bank have been appointed the banker of the UN agencies in South Sudan. So we are very confident we should be able to, uh, to perform this.